Hi everybody, I hope everybody's okay. Um, today I'll be speaking to you about uh, non-traditional therapy. In this case, I'll be speaking to you about massage therapy, about its definition and its benefits. I hope you enjoy. First of all, I like to speak about what is therapy. Therapy is the treatment of mental or psychological disorders, meaning this helps with your emotions and situation one is having at the moment or past or traumas. Um, massage therapy um, is the one that I'm concentrating and massage therapy is the understanding of the body and an insight of the therapeutic benefits of the touch. The purpose of massage therapy is the health and well-being of the body. Now I'll be speaking to you about the benefits that massage therapy has on your body. First of all, it improves the circulation on your body. It lowers blood pressure and increases the oxygen to the tissues. It also releases the muscles and it gets more flexibility on your joints. This improvement in your circular system helps you stimulate the nervous system and helps you relax it or even increases your alertness. Second of all, it reduces um, stress, anxiety, and depression. Um, these cause a kind of tension in your muscles, but massage therapy helps you lower um, the stress and tension that your body experiences throughout your day, throughout your, daily, throughout your daily situations that causes these kinds of tensions in your muscles. Next is it improves your skin and the vitality of it. The benefits of these therapies can help you prevent future diseases. Um, it also stimulates uh, the stimulation of certain pressure points in your body can relieve the symptoms of future um, diseases or common common dis issues that one has in the body usually. Um, next, it is used meditative and psychologically helpful um, for people that have, have negative experiences in their lives. Um, it helps them to change them to a positive experience. Um, this therapy can also be seen as helpful for people to bond more um, because it helps emotionally, so it helps people with situations with others. Um, this is because massage is great physically and emotionally for one and one's appearance. Last but not least, it promotes overall wellness. Um, for example, um, the physical benefits that I have already mentioned are it helps with facial expressions and it helps with your posture of your body. Um, but massage, um, with all its benefits, it too has its contradictions that one needs to be careful when doing or receiving a massage. One first needs to feel energetic and comfortable when you're giving or receiving a massage. If you're in doubt, please consult a doctor first. Um, you cannot give a massage if the patient has an, um, an infection or high blood pressure problems or a temperature or even untreated cancer. It is not helpful for the patient and it is not common or healthy to do it if the patient has one of these reasons for not receiving the massage. Massage therapists also need to be very careful with their patients because therapists cannot go over various veins, cannot go over lumps, um, skin problems, rash or cuts. It is not healthy for the patient either. Um, it also needs to be very, very alert with people with asthma and pregnant women. It also needs to be very, very careful with how they treat them and what kind of um, uh, movements they do to the patient because of their problems. These kinds of therapies can help with common problems too, um, such as PMS, premenstrual syndrome, 
um, digestive disorders or painful joints. Um, thanks to these therapies, we have a way to access and help our body physically and emotionally and reduce our stress of everyday life and problems. Um, I hope you enjoyed all this information about massage therapy and I hope you liked it.